Hi, I'm Tim Matlack, and I wanted to share with you some reflections on the word family, which has been in my brain a lot in the last eight weeks. Eight weeks ago, my son and his wife, who live in Brooklyn with their two-year-old son, called and asked if they could come down and move in with us for a while because um, the uh, tension and uh, the, da the seeming dangers of, of life in New York were beginning to really be uh, uh, oppressive, and they felt they needed to get a, a change of uh, venue to some place with a little less congestion. And um, we said, of course, and uh, they came down and moved in with us. And we, uh, in the next several weeks, made adjustments to uh, having an extra couple of adults in the house as well as a toddler. Um, but it was a it was a great experience and um, good um, a good thing for for all of us to uh, have time together um, and for my wife Cindy and me in particular to also uh, have some real quality time with our grandson. Um, now that they've left, they're happily back in Brooklyn, but um, I know that uh, here we miss them. Um, and it, it um, is much like the experience we're having in the church with we don't have a chance to uh, see the members of our family as much as we did, obviously, before uh, the quarantine was, was imposed. Um, and as we look ahead to opportunities to get back together, um, we're going to have to make some adjustments. Um, it's not going to be uh, the way it was. But... Um, we will make them, and I think because we're all part of a family that, that uh, loves each other, that we will find a way to make these work and to um, make the St. Michael's community the kind of uh, family that it has always so much been for us. So I'm looking forward to a, an opportunity to catch up to lots of folks who I haven't been able to see, and uh, hope that... Uh, you and your family are managing to fare well in this strong period of uh, still uncertainty and, um, and some feelings of, of threat and loneliness at times.